OK. And as I told you before, I'm going to tell you about the standard. So, the definition of a standard is that the minimum requirement of any types of tools and instrument which should be considered if you want to design them, construct them, or install them at the site or, at, I mean, at the uh, factory, refinery, or things like that. As I told you before, this is the minimum requirement of something that must be taken into consideration. It means that, for example, when you want to, uh, I don't know, survey some types of instrument uh, uh, standards, and all of a sudden you find that the housing material of something must be constructed based on die cast aluminium. It means that this is the minimum requirement that you should consider for constructing these things. Otherwise, it means that uh, you do not consider the standards and actually there is a gap between the thing that you design and the thing that has been considered in the standard. So it's so important for us to follow and obey all the things that has been written in the standards because as I told you before, this is one of the most important things that you must consider during your designing and uh, I mean uh, constructing, supplying and installation. So, as I told you before, for this thing, I'm going to write some types of, uh, some names of, sorry, some names of standards for you. And during this uh, training, I will teach you uh, the uh, application of those standards. I mean, in which part you can use them and why actually we use these standards during our instrument engineering thing. So, the first and one of the most one is A. PI. This standard is related for American Petroleum Institute and undoubtedly, without any hesitation, I can tell you this one is one of the most applicable one uh, in the world during the instrument uh, designing, constructing and those types of things. For example, I want to make an example to clarify this issue for you. Just imagine I'm writing a PI 551 or for example 553 